Did you know that when Edison was trying to invent the light bulb, he felt thousands of times until he finally found a way of how to make light bulb that would shine for hours? When he was asked about all those failed attempts, so his negative results, he said that all of them had been extremely valuable because they were taking him, taking him closer to finding the right solution. Negative results matter in science. It is a knowledge that there is a bias towards publishing only positive results. But now, more and more voices in the scientific community are rising to say that negative results should also be given the importance that they deserve. Not publishing negative results hides information that might be valuable to other scientists and represents a tremendous waste of time and resources because other scientists may try to answer questions that have already been investigated. The goal of my PhD thesis is to find better treatments for people with diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease affecting 422 million people around the world and it might lead to blindness, to renal problems, to limb amputations and it might even lead to death by myocardial, myocardial infarction and stroke. Diabetes is characterized by high levels of glucose in blood which is due to an insufficient production of insulin and to defects in insulin action, which is to take glucose from the bloodstream to the rest of the tissues in your body. The cells that are responsible for making glucose are found in the pancreas and they are called beta cells. Diabetes appears when beta cells don't work properly or they die and stop producing insulin. The question is, why does this happen? The observation that glycogen is accumulated in the beta cells of diabetic patients, glycogen, that is a polymer formed by, by units of glucose, led to the hypothesis that the accumulation of glycogen in beta cells could be the reason why beta cells die or don't work properly in diabetes. To answer these questions, we generated transgenic mice that were producing a lot of glycogen in beta cells. We observed that the levels of insulin, the levels of glucose and the number of beta cells of these transgenic mice with a lot of glycogen in beta cells were similar, were comparable to that of normal mice. Now we know that the accumulation of glycogen in beta cells is not the reason why these cells don't work properly or die in diabetes.